right. So let's kick things off now with what's sizzling. And we're going to start off with the topic of pop stars because they aren't popping like they used to, apparently. Uh, this is all according to a new report from Billboard magazine. Now, here's the tea. Some industry executives say it's much harder for music artists to achieve mainstream popularity these days. Now, we are not talking about the Beyonce's or the Taylor Swift's of the world who were popular way before TikTok. They're focusing on recent years and insist only two artists have done that organically, and they are singer Olivia Rodrigo and rapper Ice Spice. Why? Some blame it squarely on new artists, saying they lack the substance of their predecessors. That's kind of tough, mm. isn't it? Uh, others insist the decline of radio and the increase of social media are all to blame. So, this whole idea that it's basically harder to become a mainstream pop star these days, mm. do we agree or not? Do we like it or not? Is it true? Mm -hmm. mm. Want me to kick it off? Yeah, sure, let's do this. Uh, let's do this, boo-boo. I think I... I like it. It, it is yeah. hard. Well, to a degree. Yeah. It is harder because we don't work as hard, I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like because I have something that I, I say a lot is that we do want surface uh, more over substance as far as the society we live in. So you think it's the audience and what the audience wants to no, consume, well, just, not necessarily. the society we live in. Okay. And then, you know, the artists are a product of the society that they live in as well because we want everything to be fast. Yeah. We want everything the to microwave be instantaneous. Generation. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Even our success. And so, therefore, it, you know, it's, it's not enduring in terms of the impact. I agree with that. I don't like it, but I think it's true. And I don't think likes always equate to talent. So I think the problem is you could be really popular, but not, as Kyle mentioned, have a whole lot of substance behind it. And then you fade really quickly because it takes that longevity this is to really be a success. I think, too, back in the day, you had to have talent in order to be popular. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Not the opposite. You weren't popular, then you became Absolutely. Yes, or maybe seen as talented. Yeah. I, I personally, I like it. I think this idea is very true. Mm -hmm. And I think, too, it's, it's beyond just music. I don't think we'll ever have another Oprah Winfrey because people don't consume television like they used to. And there's so many there's amazing so many outlets. It's so saturated. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. very hard to have something that's universally known Four. and appreciated. Michael Jackson's Thriller. Mm. 100 million <laughs> albums sold. I don't think we'll ever see that again. For, just for because an example, um, what is Little Dirt yeah. and mm -hmm. Little Baby? Mm -hmm. Both Little. Uh, <laughs> it's a bunch of Little. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. exactly. Right. Yes. So th recently they had to cancel some shows because of the lack of ticket sales. Oh, Meanwhile, Wu Tang Clan mm -hmm. and Nas mm -hmm. are st selling out arenas and venues. Yeah, so talent still means something and at the end of the day. And generational, generationally speaking, I think the older audiences are more apt to celebrate by purchasing. I guess. Yeah, I but then you look at Taylor Swift. We bring up a Beyonce. great argument. How do you measure popularity? Is mm -hmm. it in ticket sales? Is it on who's popular on social media? It's a whole mm -hmm. lot. We can be on this the whole hour. We got other I got questions. We, we need another drink. It. Yeah, it's Throwback Thursday. So we're going to go back to the archives for this next story. I'm sure you remember this conversation. Take a listen. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's the problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Because That's Ebony K. Williams talking to Ayala Van Zan about why she would not date a bus driver. He doesn't own it. Uh, but what about a UPS driver? I bet she date him. Okay, check this out. As part of a new deal, in five years, the average UPS driver will earn $170,000 a year in pay and benefits. That has sent searches for the job openings at the delivery company soaring. So to go back to that earlier conversation, here's the question. Does it matter to you what your partner or a potential partner does for a living if they make a lot of money doing it. And we're talking about legal <laughs> means, all right? Oh, we want you to chew on it this morning. You can vote on our website, scan that QR code, and 60% of you say no. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't. Hmm. What say you, Kyle? I agree. I agree with, uh, with the masses here on this one. I feel like just because you make more money isn't everything. Because a lot of you, like, once again, going back to the society, mm -hmm. then, the more money we make, the more money, the more money we're going to spend. Yep. I think what we should search for is just like-minded on a on a profound, deep level that we have a, someone we have a connection with. You know, you have like-minded aspirations, like-minded ambition, or like-minded 
content, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, wh whatever the case may be, I think we should just find someone you connect with on a personal, intimate level and just, as long as you make yesterday jealous of the day. I wish you could drop this mic, but it's a little <laughs> pale. Oh, yeah. no. That was a whole word. Erin, what do you think about it? I'm going to quote my dad on this one yeah. and say, I think you should date whoever you want. I like the idea. My parents are social workers, not money-driven people. My dad always says, I have something not everyone has. Mm. I have enough. And it's about being satisfied in your own life, regardless mm. of the monetary value of what you do. And worth isn't just money. No. you got to be worthy. And I think, you too, you don't know someone's potential out of the gate. I'll use myself for an example I made pennies starting out in this industry but and I, I, I do mean mm -hmm. pennies um, but I did the work and I worked hard and I'm much better off now but if someone had used that as some sort of sort of barometer mm -hmm. over whether to date me as a potentially or not I wouldn't have had a chance. Mm -hmm. And so I think sometimes if someone is showing the potential and the work, and the give them a chance, you don't know where that person could end up. Absolutely. You got to start somewhere. And it makes it all that much more rewarding. Mm -hmm. There you go. Because you come up together then and you mm -hmm. support each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And being a driver, UPS, or a bus driver, that's a good job. That's an honest <laughs> living. That's an honest living. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Oh, at least I got a job. All right, Thank move you. over, ladies. Men are getting in the maintenance routine. Oh, getting gosh. really deep into it. I can't wait to see what you think not, of this. Not again. <laughs> the latest beauty trend making rounds across social media is bro talk. <laughs> Now, doctors are reportedly seeing an uptick in men in the billion-dollar Botox market. They say the attitude is changing towards self-care and grooming. Now, Botox works just like Botox. They're both minimally invasive procedures that use uh, injectables. Botox or Botox are an option for anyone who wants to temporarily get rid of all those fine lines and wrinkles on their face. So, let's get into it. Botox, do we like it or not? Sir? Bro, let me let me let me make this one a double. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, PSA, fellas, we, we, what did we just talk about? We just talked about it knowing being your all inner the, worth. Exactly, yes. knowing the inner worth and it being all the more rewarding and sustaining as well. You put the work, and I get it, you know, we're all wired and made up genetically different, but at least try first to put the work in. And Aaron and I are looking help, at each other like, here, waiting, like, double dutch here. If you need a little help along the way, that's one thing, but let's let at least first try. So you're against it. You don't like no, Botox. No, no, no. Ken, this Barbie movie with the Ken and all the... It, no, no. They, <laughs> they, 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 did us, they did us fell us a disservice with, with all that. Like, no, no. Well, some people don't need it, Kyle, and maybe you're just blessed in that way. Why no, hate on no, the people listen, who... I, that's I, work, that's so I work hard. You look like this, listen, and you are I a work Super out Bowl every champ. Day. Uh -huh. I work out every day. I drink a lot of water. I get my rest. You even though these, these kids don't allow me you to be great at times. butter and Jesus. That's a translation. There we go. Me and Aaron, we have our book club the self-help yeah. books going on. We're trading titles and we're exactly. giving each other inspiration. Well, Aaron, bro talks, like it or not, and tell the truth about it. Here's the thing. It depends because you could get a little injectable and be great. Or have you seen the men who have gone too far and you're like, sir, what is up with your forehead? Yes. So there's that fine line of going too far. But I will say, I got my boyfriend using my face wash and my cream. Really? Yeah. Preventative care is part of the healthy routine. So he's in the baby stages. He he's might baby eventually stages. end up bro talks. No. No, no, no. That's where you draw the line. It's, Don't you put that on Brennan. It's, it's, it's a gateway. Brennan, I love you. It's, it's a gateway you. routine. It's I'm a not Botox, right. Botox date. What's wrong with that? You know what? If that's what we want to do in maybe a few years, perhaps. But for now, we're going to stick with facials and getting our brows done together. You know, I like it. I yeah. like Botox. I say, I always say, do you, boo? Nice. If you want that, there's nothing wrong with wanting to upgrade your look. But I will yeah, say, make sure you're doing it for you. Exactly. Not to get the attention of someone. Well, you can do both at the same time, but you know what I mean. Well, don't don't solely rely on the validation <laughs> of other it's people. It's the same with breast augmentation for women. Yeah. Get them done because you want them, not because you're trying to impress a man. Same with the BBL. BBL. Brazilian for butt lifts. Oh, the last yes. time we talked about that, people were messaging me, well, what are BBL? Oh, sorry. Brazilian yes. butt lifts. Like, so, but also, just do some squats. Don't, Marissa, Marissa, Eric, don't y'all set these men up out here, man. We just talked about being a slippery slope. That's why we're not dating them and we're encouraging people to get broke up. I need another set. I say, yeah, it's to each its own. We'll leave it there.